Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. I bet y'all saying another peach cobbler recipe. This is gonna be kind of different in two ways. I know y'all probably see me make a peach cobbler recipe, a pe old school peach cobbler, which happens to be one of my favorite desserts. And I got these summertime flies in here, y'all. It ain't summertime, almost summertime. I don't know what they be all winter and how they survive the winter, but they in here. So y'all gonna be back to fly. And nothing I can do about them. Y'all got chips, let me know. But anyway, it is April, y'all, and then we gonna uh, get this party started. I be in Sam's a lot, and I've always seen the Sam's pizza. Y'all seen these in Sam's? Uh, members want the Sam's peaches come in this big jar. And I'm out of my clean peaches, my old school clean peaches, I'm out. So I gotta wait till the summer and make some more. But I said, I wonder how that tastes to make peaches, peach cobbler out of this. And they already have, so I mean, I'm not gonna slice them like I normally do. I'm gonna dice them up and make a peach cobbler. I said, that probably eats better. Probably easier to eat when you <laughs> dice the peaches up instead of slicing them. You get a peach on every spoon. I'll have to cut the peaches you eating. I'm always thinking how to make stuff better, y'all. So what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna uh, open this jar of peaches up that I got from Sam's, and I'm gonna uh, slice them up, and uh, I get this open on camera. Yep, I'm gonna slice them up, and uh, do my regular procedure on my peach cobbler. Y'all know my peach cobbler, pit potty, pineapple juice, sugar, butter, cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla, and I use these Pillsbury roll up pie crust for my dough. Very simple, very easy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna step off, get these peaches sliced up. I probably use a half a jar. I think a half a jar is enough. I kind of play it by ear. I like more juice than peaches. I like the pe I like the juice in the crust. So. Anyway, I'm gonna get them all sliced up, I mean diced up, and we're gonna come back and get this party started. Old school peach cobbler using Sam's peaches, diced up. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. All right, y'all, I got them diced up here, and they're pretty good. I only did half a jar here. I got the other jar here. I'll save for snacking, or I'll kinda make another cobbler. So I ain't gonna make it that big. I say that, but I'm going to have more juice in there than, <laughs> than peaches. But, yeah, I just diced them up pretty big. So, what I'm going to do, move over here to the pot here. And I'm curious how, because y'all know usually when I make peach cobbler, I'll pull the juice in there and add the peaches later. And y'all remember, I, use, I always use 100% pineapple juice. That's the key. I don't use water. We're gonna put some pineapple juice in here, y'all. Turn this on, Chef Jeffrey. There we go. I am so ready for the summer, y'all. Ready to do my Bobby Karen. I mean, nothing against the spring. I need to get my yard here. Y'all know I live in two places, so I gotta get my little landscape, and I'm not gonna do it this year. I'm gonna have somebody do it. Because I don't have the time and energy to do it so they're going to plant me a few flowers in my that the freeze killed in my front yard but i had some which i'll show y'all later i lost a couple of fruit trees during the little freeze we had a one day freeze here uh last year was it earlier this year and i lost i thought i had lost them all but uh two of them came back you know how you cut the bark back there and see if you got any green so two of them did and two of them didn't so all I have to do is replace two. Okay. People are saying, we don't care about no fruit trees. I'm just letting the ones that do care listen. Okay, I got my peaches in there. Y'all know me. I'm going to just pour this sugar in here like this, and I'll check the sugar later. And I already know that the peach is not overly sweet. So I know I'm going to need more sugar than, that's what I'm saying. In my recipe, I'm going to put a certain amount of sugar in there. But you gotta kinda taste it. I put about a cup and a half. Usually takes a cup. I put just about like a cup and a half just in. All right, y'all. Put a little vanilla. I know I'm putting the vanilla too early, but hey, this is where I do my peach cobbler. I just dump everything in the pot at one time and then make <laughs> it to a ball. That way my mama did it. I said, Mama, you supposed to wait on the vanilla. 
Boy, ain't nobody got time waiting on no vanilla. I've been doing it. If I don't put the vanilla now, I'll be the forgot to put the vanilla in there. <laughs> so, since he used to put the vanilla in, I used to try to tell him the scientific way. So, Mama, scientifically, if you put the, the uh, vanilla early, it's going to burn off the. Hey, boy, I ain't look. And my Aunt Rosa, same thing. She'll tell you the same thing. Put a little nutmeg in here. My Aunt Rosa tell you the same thing. Put, 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 the, uh, put the vanilla in there and be through with it. We really don't forget about the vanilla. I like a lot of cinnamon, y'all, so put cinnamon in there. And we're gonna bring this to a boil. And once it's cooked to a boil, we're gonna tighten it with a little slurry, which is cornstarch and water. Pour it in my pot with my crust on the bottom, crust on the top. I do not pour bake it, because it will cook, cook all the way through, no problem. So anyway, we'll be back once it gets to boiling. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all, my peaches is boiling. Is everything good to go? Now, I got my slurry over here with the slurry. All slurry is cornstarch, 50% cornstarch, 50% water. I could use pineapple juice as well if I wanted to instead of water. If I really want to go fancy. I'll just pour it in here. And let the cornstarch do its thing. Try not to put too much. You know, the cornstarch don't have the full strength until it gets completely hot. I don't want to pour too much in there at a time. So kind of let it do its thing. I like kind of a juicy cobbler. Some people like a thicker cobbler. I like kind of a juicy type because, just because. There we go. Because, oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. Because when it cool down, it's going to be thick, y'all. Yeah, I'm the one to eat cold cobbler. Especially if it's blackberry or blueberry cobbler, I eat it cold right out of the refrigerator. I don't even warm it up. I love it. So I'm going to let this cook about one minute here. See, that's as thick as I want it, y'all, right there. I'm making a mess here. <laughs> Making a mess up, Jeffrey. Let me turn this down. Okay. There we go. That's that's as thick as I want. Of course, it's going to thicken up more in the stove. That's what I want. Look at that. That's about as thick as I want it. Especially you people that eat cobble over top of ice cream. You really, really, really don't like that one. Okay. Now, all we're going to do, y'all, is pour it right here in my in my dish. Like I've done that before, huh? Like I've done that one before, right? Okay. Perfect fit there. Now all I'm gonna do, y'all, all I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna put the top crust on top here. We're gonna put some butter on there. Like I say, I do not pour bake my bottom crust. It's not necessary because the crust will cook all the way to the bottom. And like I say, I'm nothing fancy with this, y'all. I'll just put the dough right here. Turn this over. I want the bottom side on here, y'all. Nothing fancy with this, y'all. Good way to get rid of this pie dough. I've had it in the freezer for a minute. I saw it. I said, man, that's been in there a minute. I need to take that out and use it. What's the best way to use it, huh? On a cobbler, right? Make you a cobbler with it. And that's what I'm doing. Like I say, y'all, you don't have to be perfect on here. I'm just getting that dough on here, y'all. Getting that dough on here. This way, really? Okay, but that is not lattice, you know. It ain't no lattice. No, it's just radish. <laughs> Set on there like that. Like I say, y'all, we just putting this dough on here. We're not going up and down. No, 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 no. I'll make a cobbler just rustic. What do you call it? Rustic. That dough right up in there. Like I say, you can just put the dough on there all the way as well, too. I'm just trying to make it look a little, a little fancy. 
Then I'll put my butt on top just like this. Kind of break it up on top there just like this. My cold butter. Just if I move it where y'all can see what I'm doing, huh? Cold butter on there just like that. Flies. See these flies? I'm telling you. I keep telling y'all. These flies out of my kitchen here. Sometimes it'll be rough. I think an apartment is less flies than in a house. I also got my garden out there and stuff like that. So more flies accumulating. Okay. Now. Now. All I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little sugar on top. Sprinkle a little sugar on top of it. Just like this. Put that nice sugar glaze on there when it come out. And we're gonna cook it 350 degrees. Usually take about 45 minutes, sometime an hour, but no more than 45 minutes. You get nice and bubbly and golden brown and the bottom crust cooked. So we'll be back. Old school peach cobbler losing Sam's Club peaches. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Y'all can see that's fresh out the oven, bubbling out the oven. Look at that, y'all. Look at that bubbling hot peach cobbler. And like I say, hot peach cobbler, meaning, you know what that means? Meaning I can't cut into this, y'all, <laughs> for a while. At least for 45 minutes or so, until that bubbling. Of course, you can. I mean, if you got some, y'all know type to put ice cream on cobbler. But I like to let this set up a little bit, y'all. And all that juice kind of soak into that crust. And then I'll come back in about 45 minutes to an hour. It'll still be blazing hot after an hour. And uh, give me a bowl of this, and we're going to see how, how these Sam's peaches are. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. I let this cool down a whole lot. But look at that there, y'all. Look at that bowl of peach cobbler. And like I say, as this peach cobbler sets up, it's going to really get thick as it gets cold. But like I say... Oh, these flies, y'all. Y'all have to part me. These flies here, I know I have two or three in my house. All oh, seem like all summer. Just two or three. When them go to wait, two or three more step up. So, like I say, I know no purpose of a fly. I say this every year. A lot of insects, a lot of animals have a purpose. But what is the purpose of a fly? Absolutely just to bother people, I guess. Just to irritate the, the world out of us. But anyway, let me dig in here. Let me get a little crust. And like I told y'all, I diced these peaches up for the first time ever, and it works so well. So you ain't got to worry about cutting the peaches or not fitting in your mouth right going in. Mm, mm, mm. Nothing like peach cobbler, right? Y'all know me. I don't want no ice cream on my cobbler. It ruins the eating experience. It melts in there, and then you can't dis distinguish which is which. That's just my my opinion. Everybody's different. I don't like to mix my ice cream with the collar. Look at y'all. Mm, 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 mm. My neighbor's getting this, y'all. <laughs> my neighbor's gonna be getting some peach cobbler here pretty soon. But anyway, I just want to show y'all. I saw that jar. I've been seeing that big old jar of peaches in Sam's Club. If you got a Sam's Club card, check it out. Only thing, it's not as sweet as I would like, but that's why I add a little sugar in the recipe. Of course, the recipe is in the description of the video. I always do my regular peach cobbler. No different. So, anyway, let me close the video out. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow me on social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, TikTok, and old school Remember the hashtag 2024. Stop wishing and start doing old school soul food. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. And I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy, blessed day. Love y'all. Bye.